In November 2020, a school board in Pennsylvania voted to ban a list of hundreds of books such as Matthew Cherry's Hair Love and Mean White Supremacy by Layla F. Saad, as well as children's books about Rosa Parks and Aretha Franklin. The ban by the Central York School Board infuriated many students in the district. They felt that the board was purposely suppressing books for and by people of color. So they united together, started to organize protests, and began their fight. We are all in this together. You are not alone. Our voice needs to be heard. It wasn't until after these students gained national media attention that the public backlash pushed the Central York School Board to repeal the ban in September. Do you think the adults that banned these books have read these books? Absolutely not. No, definitely. Ida Gupta and Olivia Patuk are both seniors at Central York High School that led protests in their community. As a teenager or a young person in this world, you're often told that you don't have the ability to speak up about or you don't have the ability to you know, make a difference or what you say won't be heard by people that are older than you. I was always scared of doing something wrong or saying something wrong or making someone upset. I didn't feel like I had a voice. Um, and I couldn't make a change, you know? Like, I saw all these big things happening in the world, and I was one teenager. I didn't think that anything like that could happen. Um, and then and then the books got banned, and I, I just knew that something needed to be done. It was successful that we reversed the ban, but what is more so successful is that we are able to educate students every single day about, you know, what makes this country great. People began waking up and seeing what needed to be done. So when the community came together, there was really nothing that the school board could do because they saw their, whole, their community uniting over this. In a statement following the vote to lift the ban, the board president said the goal had been to balance legitimate academic freedom with what could be literature and materials that are too activist in nature. I never believe it's okay to ban books. Amy Milston is a newly elected board member. I think that um, almost every single book on that list, um, with maybe just a few exceptions, would help somebody. I'm uh, an LGBTQ plus member. I didn't feel heard for the longest time until I began finding myself in books and realizing that it was okay to be who I was. I often was really scared from a young age to speak about my Indian heritage, um, but the more I speak about it, the more I, I notice that people want to listen nowadays. And I think that the more that we have those healthy conversations about race, culture, and, and education, the more everyone can help us in our mission to make this world a more loving, equitable, and inclusive place. These young activists realize that by organizing and supporting each other, teenagers can have a say in their education and turn back bad policies. For the PBS NewsHour Student Reporting Labs, I'm Lizzie Pegg in York County, Pennsylvania.